All of the manager's level of work centrality are tested throughout the episode. Sarah and James's relationship further develops, which threatens her position in the office. Mary continues to make workplace decisions that, based on her feelings about Mark, her decisions just so happen to also benefit the company. Lastly, Mark continues to exceed his sales goals with the help of his team. James and Sarah are in her office alone, and they start making out without even remembering their act word. Angela, Sarah's team lead, walks in while they're making out. What's going on here, Sarah? When did you walk in, Angela? It doesn't really matter. This is a workplace. Oh, maybe I should go, Sarah. I'll see you later. Maybe you should, James, says Angela. James walks out of the office with his head down. Angela yells at Sarah. Do you know what predicament you're putting me in? Why should I always... Why should I even keep this a secret? If someone were to find out about this romance, I could get you in trouble. Mark and Mary are really collaborating to make this in, uh, make this relationship an open environment and to boost morale for the employees. Mary says to Mark, Hey Mark, so the cash incentives were approved and you can start your strategy next month. Oh wow, thanks a bunch, uh, Mary. I knew you would get, appro- get it approved for me. You're the best. Your plan was actually accepted to a lot of the other officers, and they want me to sit down with you to see if they can get your insight on how they came up with it and some of the regulations. Mark then says, wow, that's amazing. Sarah goes on to talk to Mark to see if James could could move his team to get rid of the guilt of being his boss. Sarah says to Mark, I know it's been a while since we've talked, but I really need a favor. Mark says, how do you know how I feel about you? What's up? Sarah says, I see your department doing really well, and I wanted to know if you could take care of my my employees. Oh, what's wrong with him? Is he always late or doesn't perform well? Questions Mark. Sarah replies, no, it's not that. He's a great employee. I just really like him. Mark says, okay, he can move me. Please have him send me his resume, please. He should be able to start next week. I'll put a rush on the process. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate it, says Mary. Sarah then tells James that he has to leave her department. James. You have to go to Mark's apartment. Isn't Mark your ex? Why is that? Questions James. Sarah replies saying, There's a conflict between us in the same department. James then questions. I thought this was settled. No, this is not settled. We have to go ahead and have you move. Do whatever you want as long as I still have my job. Mark and James speak regarding the transfer. Welcome to my department. You start your day the next month, Monday coming up. Please report your team to the A-team and they will advise you on what to do. Okay, thanks, James. This won't be awkward for you, will it? No, James. This won't be awkward at all. Why would it be? James responds saying, if you don't know, then I don't. Glad we're still able to talk. 